Video is about this is my shoe collection part one, so I'm not gonna do too much talking. We're gonna get straight into the video. I'm gonna start with ones. First, shoe we got is the UNC ones. I got the mismatch laces in them because when I used to wear these, that was the way like you supposed to swap the laces out. So yeah, I don't got too much to say about these. I don't really wear them. As you can see, these cool. I don't. I still don't wear them, but like, I might bring these back out. I don't know. Next shoe we got is the royal toe ones, I believe. Once again, mismatch laces. Um, I wore these a lot when when they came out. I don't wear them no more, but like, yeah. These cool. I really like this shoe. This a must have in your collection. I got the shattered. Backboard 2.0 mismatch laces as well, and they got like the the off white or tan bottom, and they like patterned all the way around. I kind of creased these if you can't see, but like yeah, I used to wear these a lot when they came out. I don't wear them anymore. These right here are my favorite ones. They're my favorite ones of all time. No, not of all time, but like in my collection. These are my favorite ones. These are the mocha ones. Once again, different laces. And I just like the brown on the back. Like, that's not a regular brown. And it's cool. I wore these a whole bunch. Like, this is my favorite Jordan in my collection. Next, we have. Are these called the court purple one? I don't know. I think they're called the court purple ones, though. Don't talk about me in the comments if I mess up the name. But these are what they look like, match match laces. Now I do wish, like you see how the laces is purple right here? They like lighter purple. I wish they had like the dark purple in the laces cause this really don't match. But it's cool though, I, I still mess with the shoe. I wore these a lot when they came out. But yeah, these cool. Next we have, oh, next we have, I think these called the satin toe ones. I love these shoes. I did crease these, and these are different from the other ones because I didn't mismatch the laces. These are the first pair I didn't mismatch the laces, but these cool. These are a must have in your collection. I love these shoes. Damn, I wore these a lot. They don't look like it, but I did. And yeah, they cool. These are a must have in your collection. I kind of got them dirty a little bit on the tongue, but we're going to ignore that. But yeah, I love these shoes. These are cool. I didn't get these when they dropped. I bought these for resale. And it was bad. I don't even want to tell you how much I paid for these. But yeah, these are a must have in your collection. I love these shoes. Next, we have a shoe that only came out in women's. I think these called the silver toe ones. I might be wrong, but these are cool. Just silver. I did not mismatch the laces, but they did come with some silver laces. But I just didn't like the way the silver laces looked. They weren't like these laces, so yeah. These are cool. I don't wear these. I didn't wear them a lot. I don't know where I got these, but they cool. I'm not gonna sell them or nothing, but yeah. Cause I'm a shoe collector. So I'm never gonna sell none of these shoes, but these cool or whatnot. So this next shoe, if you don't like like loud, colors and you like a chill person this is not a shoe for you but these are the tokyo biohack ones these are mismatch laces um it's just a lot going on it's loud it's bright yellow on the tongue then you got the bright laces and all these different colors these are cool i love these shoes i wear these a lot i love these shoes though this is me i like flashy stuff so yeah this is more 
me. This is not my favorite one in my collection. Once again, my favorite one is the Mocha ones. Next, we're going to get into my fours. I don't have any Jordan 2s. I don't like that silhouette. I do have Jordan 3s, but that will be in part 2. Because I'm only doing the shoes that's at my apartment. The shoes that's at home will be part 2. This video has to get a thousand views and a hundred likes. That's it for me to do a part two. The first fours I'm finna show y'all are the taupe haze fours. They're really cute. I love this shoe. I don't wear them like that. It might look like it. No, I really don't look like it, but I don't wear these like that. But I love these shoes. It's really cute and a calm shoe to have. I feel like this is a must have in your collection. I love these shoes. Next, are my favorite fours in my collection i love these fours i pay a lot of money for these i pay resale price i didn't get these when they came out which i should have they're kind of beat and i didn't even wear them like that i don't know why they beat but these are the black cat fours i love the black cat fours they are a must have in your collection i look at them well not these ones they look dirty but they cool it's the all black shoe it's just all black it's it's basic, but it's like, you need it. You can wear this for anything. Next for us are, I don't know the name of these. I ain't gonna lie. I think they called the Batman Force. I don't know. I think they called the Batman Force. Taxi Force. One of them, but whichever. These are cool. I just got these. These just came out not too long ago. Did I just get these? Probably like over the summer. These cool. I'm not really on Jordan's how I used to be, but like, yeah, these cool. These cool. Cute little shoe. Basic, not too much. I don't got too much to say about these, but yeah, these real cute. Next shoe we have are these. I don't know the name. I know the name, but I can't think of the name right now. But yeah, they're similar to the black and yellow ones, but they're just black and red. These not a must to have in my collection. I don't really have to have these. I have some similar ones. As I'm looking at my shoes, I don't see them. It's gonna be in part two. But yeah, these cool. Cool little shoe. Next shoe we have is the UNC fours. These are so pretty. I mean, they're a little dirty. I wore these a lot. But these so pretty to me, like. I love this shoe. These are a must have in your collection. Like, who don't want them? Be for real. So yeah. Just a cute little shoe to have. And yeah, I don't got too much to say about these. When did I get I got these a long time ago. And I did not pay. I did not get these when they first came out. A lot of these shoes I did not get when they first came out, which I should have, but I didn't. The last fours of this part one are these. I believe these called the cement fours. Like I said, do not talk about me in the comments if I get the names wrong. But I believe that's what these are called. I don't know. Though. These are cool. Um, did I wear these a lot? I don't think I wear these a lot. They're not dirty or nothing. Like, it's a cool little shoe to have. I don't say it's a must have, but like, these are cool to have in your collection. They're cute. You can wear them with anything. They're black and white. The cream is the part that kind of threw me off but like you can still if you know how to dress you know how to you know how to wear these next shoe is a crazy shoe like this kind of like remember i showed y'all the tokyo bio hat that was like flashy had a lot going on this shoe really has a lot going on or with the fives y'all probably looking at this shoe if you don't know about shoes you probably she's like these are not the same shoe they they do they go together they really do they do so you got this one you got this one it's cute or whatnot. They got the little things on the side. But yeah, these cool. I didn't really wear these like that. They cool though. I have some sixes. They're going to be in part two. Sevens, I got a lot of sevens. They're going to be in part two. I don't like eights. I don't have no eights. I don't like nines. I have some tens. But I didn't bring... There's no tens in this collection. So we're about to get into the best silhouette. That Jordan has, which are the 11s. Period. The 11s is just chef's kiss. This next show I'm going to show you in this collection 
It's a must have. You have to have these in your collection. You're a shoe collector and you don't have a shoe, go buy these shoes. Like right now. The bread 11 is like, I love this shoe. I don't wear them no more, but they cool. The cool shoe to have in your collection just to have. But they're cool. This shoe done came out so many times. It don't make no sense, but like, yeah, these are cool. I don't wear them no more. But I did wear them a lot. Look at the bottom. That's just nasty. But like, these are cool. Next 11s that we have are the Cherry 11s, I believe. These are cool. I got these not too long ago, I believe. I don't really wear them like that. I got these last year. These are cool. These are must have. If you don't have these, go get them. I love this shoe. I don't wear them, but... I might, I might put them on here and there. Cause why not? The next 11s that we have is a definite must have. The, my favorite in this silhouette is the, the bread 11s. But these, these are my second favorite that I own. My all time favorite in Jordan 11s is the Gamma 11s. I'm about to get them. I have to get them. I have to. I don't care the price. I'm about to get them. But the Cool Gray 11s. These cool. I didn't even wear them like that. It might look like it, but I didn't. I promise you I didn't. Um, these are cool. I don't wear them or nothing. But they're cool to have in your collection. Everybody need a pair of cool grays. That's all the Jordans I had here at my apartment for part one. Like I said, for part two, get this video to a thousand views and a hundred likes. I'm going to drop part two. Y'all going to see more, way more shoes. But that's all the Jordans I brought to school with me. Now let's get into like shoes that's not Jordans. The first shoe I got that's not a Jordan is the Panda Dunks. I don't wear these at all. I don't wear these at all. But they're like a cooler shoe to have. Like I'm not gonna go walking or something. I'm not gonna put these on the dress. But like I got them for like I'm gonna go. Walking, stuff like that. Like if I don't really don't care how my fit looked that day, I'm good easy on. Cause I really don't care about this shoe. But yeah, they cool. The pandas, the panda dunks. Everybody got these. But yeah, this is must have in your collection. Like these cool. Next thing we have is the. I don't know what these called, but these dunks as well. Like I like again. I'll go wear these if I'm. I really don't care about the fit or anything. Like, I really don't care for these shoes. I don't wear them. I used to, but I don't wear them more. This is like for like a slight day. Next shoe we have, they look a little beat, but these new balances, these cool, these real cute. I bought these last year. They cool, I don't really wear them, but I, I don't mind wearing them. If I put a fit together, I'll put these on. These cool. Next shoe we have in this collection is these Yeezy 500s. They a little beat. I ain't gonna lie. They a little like dirty, but I, I wear these. So like, yeah. I'm gonna clean them though. I wear these a lot. These Yeezy 500s are cool. I recommend people getting these. Yeah, these are cool. These are cool shoe to have. Get you some. Next shoe we have is another Yeezy. This is the Yeezy 700, I believe. I don't wear these. I've been had these for years, but I don't wear them. They are cute though. I just don't wear them. But yeah, I say people get these too. These are real cute little shoe to have. Next shoe we have is these Yeezy boots. These are must have, these are my favorite. Yeezys that I own, I believe. The Yeezy boots. So cute, right? This is like a fashion statement, I believe. You could wear it like, like you could dress this up real good. Like a fashionable fit with these shoes, with these shoes. Everybody should have a pair of Yeezy boots. Put that on y'all Christmas list. Claire, what's up? I'm doing a shoe collection video right now. I'm coming around and go to the basketball game. Yeah, all right. This next shoe I'm finna show y'all, you 
must have. Like, everybody need to have you a pair of these. I need a new pair of these. But like, yeah, everybody need to have you a pair of these. Some white Air Force One. Mine's not really giving white. Ooh. Mine's not really giving white no more. But they like, they still wearable, I think. Look at the bottom. Ooh, let me not touch the bottom. But yeah. They're not really getting the white no more, but like, yeah, everybody need them a pair of Air Force Ones. I need me a new pair, but like, get y'all a pair of these. You don't even gotta wear them. I don't wear these, but you always need some just in case. Like, this will go good with this fit. Shirt from Bell Forever, Pants Vertebrae, White Air Force Ones with a put this, finish it off. Now, we about to get into my favorite part of the video. My designer shoes let's get into it though first designer shoe we had we're gonna start with balenciaga brand okay first pair i got for y'all are the balenciaga runners i just got these for my 20th birthday these are cool it's a 41 right there that's my that's my designer size in case y'all want to know christmas coming up 41 but yeah cool these cool i don't got too much to say about these these make your feet look big, though. I ain't gonna lie. These make your feet look big. Your feet gonna look like boats in these shoes. But, like, it's cool, though. I love this shoe. I want more colors and all. Uh, so, yeah, that's the first Balenciaga. Next pair of Balenciaga is a typical shoe you're gonna see in Atlanta. Like, everybody has this shoe. It's a must have in your collection are the Balenciagas, the black Balenciagas. These are track runners. Everybody has a shoe, but I love this shoe. I don't blame them. It's just a shoe you can just throw on just to like spice it up a little bit. But like, yeah, Balenciaga, like I said, my size is 41. And it says track. I, I, I got a question for y'all though, since we own Balenciaga. If you have a pair, y'all should be like ripping right here a little bit. Like, it be like, like you rubbed on something, like you rubbed them against each other, like, all my Balenciagas have this, and I don't like that. Next pair of Balenciagas I have are so pretty, like, I love these Balenciagas, are my pink ones. These are 39, these are my first Balenciaga. I got these when I turned 17, because I remember I wore these to my 17th birthday party. But yeah, I got these when I turned 17. They're 39, I could still fit a 39, but I prefer 30, I said 34. I prefer 41, but yeah, they just pink. They just give Barbie. I love it. But once again, I was rubbing my shoe together or something. It's like doing that little tear thing. But yeah, it's cool though. I definitely wear these all the time. I love this shoe. Why not? It's like I like it's pink. Like, how could you not like this shoe? It's pink. Next, Balenciaga we have it's not a shoe it's a slide is this considered a sneaker i'm just gonna show you i don't care okay don't talk about me though they are a bit dirty but it's because they're light pink like is they're bound to get dirty because they're light pink so i don't do too much so these are my pink balenciaga slides like i said i know they're dirty you don't gotta you don't gotta say that right now I know they're dirty. I'm going to clean them. When I wear them, I don't really wear these, so. But, yeah, when I wear them, I'm going to clean them. And you feel me? But, like, yeah. I wear these a lot. These are just cute. You wear these in the summer. Or whatever. Yeah, they real cute. Next pair of Balenciagas is my last Balenciagas. I love these. This is my favorite Balenciaga. Oh, these are my Balenciaga boots. Y'all probably like, what is this? Like, when I first bought these, people was like, do not buy these. Like, what are you doing? I love these boots. Love them. They give you, like, five inches. You see that? And then you, they just say Balenciaga. I'm trying to push them like this. It get, like, rainbow. You wear them in the snow. But it don't be snowing where I'm from. And it be raining, but, like, I don't wear these anymore. I put these on if I'm, like, trying to be fashionable but like it's a like balenciaga right here it's like crocs right here but no real holes yeah they're so cute and they say 41 on the back because like i said it's my size but yeah my balenciaga boots 
love these shoes. Next designer brand we get into is Mason Mihara. These are my Mason Mihara. They're just black and white. The regular ones, like everybody got these. They cool though, and I don't really wear them, but I've worn them before. They cool. These are really cute. They have like thick laces. Real cute, real cute, real cute. And they just say MMY on the tongue. And they just look, I like these shoes because they look like they melting. Like, you could dress this up so good. You just look like they're melting. Y'all should definitely get y'all a pair of these. Oh yeah, and if I didn't say the Balenciaga that I just showed, the boots, then we must have your collection. Go get them. Next designer brand I'm getting into is Levine's. I have one pair of Levine's. These are my Levine's with the thick laces. I love these. These are just so pretty. And a whole bunch of colors and it's like flashy. But yeah, I don't got too much to say about this shoe. I wear this shoe all the time. But they're uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. They're uncomfortable. I'm not like, when you first put them on, you walk around in them, they cool. But if you have them on for a long time, they start hurting. I'm gonna tell y'all that for y'all buy it. Cool, don't say I ain't tell y'all already. Next brand we get into is Alexander McCoon. They look like this. I don't wear these. I used to all the time. Not all the time. But I used to wear these. But I don't wear them no more. Alexander McCoon. Just black and white. I don't know why I don't wear them no more. They cool. They're uncomfortable. That's why I don't wear them no more. These are uncomfortable shoes. No. These are my Marnie slippers. I love these shoes. They're very fashionable. People was talking about me when I bought these, but I feel like they're a must-have in your collection. I ain't gonna lie to them. They kind of uncomfortable. But these, they cute though. It's worth it. Next shoe we have are the off-white dunks. These are so pretty. Like, look at them. Look. Look at the details. Like, just look at this shoe. I love these shoes. Like, foam, tongue, like, what? These shoes, I love these shoes. These are must have in the collection. They're cute. I don't got too much to say about these. I wear these all the time. Well, I don't wear them all the time, but I would. Next brand we're getting into is the last designer brand, I believe. These Gucci shoes, I don't wear these. I probably wear these twice. They're just red, green on this shoe, red on this shoe, but I probably wear these twice. I don't wear these. These are my first designer shoes I ever got. I probably got them when I was like 15. But I don't wear these. I don't really care for these shoes. If you like them, get them. But these not sneakers, but they Gucci and they designer. So we're going to put them in there. These are my Gucci loafers. People was talking about me when I, when I want these too, but they're a fashion statement. You can wear these. You, if you know what you're doing, get them. They're cute. These are the last designer shoes I have to show you from my collection. It's these Rick Owens. They're beat. But I feel like when your Ricks are beat, leave them beat. Every mark is an accessory. So these are cute. Make sure I get some of these that are essential in your collection. So yeah, that's a wrap for my sneak collection part one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And like I said, get this video to 1,000 views and 100 likes if you want to see part two. Bye. We can be trying to get a thumbnail, but like, you can do what you wanna.